<sighs> yeah, not the best. What is going on YouTube? HT Gaming back with another MLB The Show 20 video. And today we have tons of new content that just dropped and we're gonna be going over all of them. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that just came out, what I think of the content, some of the choices you guys are going to have to make. So I'm gonna be going over all of that. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around for all of it. Before we get started guys, like always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It helps me a ton. Also, if you guys are new here and you haven't subbed to the channel already, make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you guys never miss any one of our videos. With that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be going over is this Diamond Dynasty Blake Snell program. Here we go. This is from the Players League that MLB The Show hosted recently. If you guys were not aware, Blake Snell was the champ and that's why they created this 95 overall Blake Snell Players League. Let's look at those stats because it has to be nice and it is 93 stamina. That's definitely higher than the face of the franchise. 98 hits per nine. That's also higher. I think he had like 88. 105 Ks per nine. If I'm not mistaken, he had 100 in the face of the franchise version. So that's definitely better. 73 walks per nine, 79 home runs per nine. He has 86 below with 99 break. Obviously, he has the same pitch selection with fastball, curveball, change of slider. But it is a 95 overall Blake Snell. Face of the franchise one was an 89. So this is definitely going to be a better version of that card. I'm excited to use him. I'm excited to use him. But how do we get this Blake Snell? All right. So like always, we're going to have missions. We're going to have collections and we're going to have moments. If you look at the missions, there's only two that are going to be online. And the rest are just going to be getting things done like playing the CPU on all-star difficulty or higher, playing the CPU again against the White Sox. The other one was against the Rays. You can also tally innings with White Sox players. That's going to give you five points there. Pitch innings with Rays pitchers. It's only nine innings, so it's not that difficult. And then the online ones is going to be tally hits with White Sox players. You only need 10. And then tally strikeouts with Rays pitchers. Again, you only need 10 innings, so it's not even that bad. If you go to collections, you would have to collect every single player that that you can acquire from this program in order to get the 40 points that it would give you. However, if you do get all of them and you collect them, you're going to earn a show pack here for collecting one. If you collect three, you're gonna earn five show packs, 500 stubs, 1000 XP. And if you collect all of them, you're going to get a balling is a habit pack, 1500 stubs and 1500 XP. Okay, it's time to show you guys every single one of the cards that you're able to get. And I'm gonna show you which ones I think you should go for, assuming you're not going to collect all six of them. All right, so at 20 points, here's what you get. You get a choice pack and these are your options. You can get this Joey Gallo, which looks very nice. The only thing is he does have, a, I think, a little bit more contact and power, but his face of the franchise version, I feel like it's so similar to this. It, it, it's just, in my opinion, if you have the face of the franchise, I, I don't see why I would go for this one if I'm not planning on getting all six of them. Face of the franchise version is just so similar to this that I just don't see it. All right, you got Bo Bichette. This card looks actually very nice. He has very good contact, 85 and 93. The power is pretty solid at 77 and 80, 71 vision. His defense, I, I would have liked it to be a little bit better. 73 fielding with 64 arm strength. As a shortstop, that arm is not the best, but you can also play him at second or third. Well, definitely don't play him at third with that arm strength, but you can put him at second. Next one is going to be Dwight Smith Jr. Now he is a left fielder, but he can play anywhere else in the outfield. He has 93 contact versus righties. 73 contact versus lefties 82 power versus righties with 73 power versus lefties he does have 82 vision which is not too bad his fielding though only 60 60 arm strength <sighs> yeah not the best and then the last one is going to be gavin lux now he is going to be a second base primary he can also play shortstop the stats are not crazy, to be honest. 88 contact versus righties, 77 contact versus lefties, 77 power versus righties, and 65 power versus lefties. Vision at 67, and then his fielding is pretty decent. It's not terrible for a second baseman. Honestly, I just I just don't see myself using him as a second baseman or anything else, to be, to be completely honest with you guys. But if I had to pick any one of these cards, right, if I wasn't going to collect them all, I want to say, if I didn't have the face of the franchise, Joey Gallo, I would definitely go with Joey. 
Since I do have him, I would most likely go with this Bo Bichette simply because I feel like he is the most balanced card out of all of them four. He can definitely play second base and he has pretty solid hitting to be honest. Now, he doesn't make my team right now, but if I had to choose one, he is the one that I would probably go with. All right, the second choice pack is going to be the exact same card, so you get to choose two of them at least. They're going to give you the option to get two. You keep going at 60, you're going to get a show pack, and then at 70, you get a semi-finals choice pack. So these are going to be three brand new cards. It's going to be Lucas Giolito, Jeff McNeil, and Ian Happ. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I feel like these are a lot better options. It's a 90 overall, 88, and 88. So, definitely a better choice pack. We're going to start with Lucas Giolito. 94 stamina, 93 hits per 9, 95 Ks per 9. His walks per 9 are at 67, as well as his home runs per 9. He has 77 velo and 98 break. He has a fastball circuit change slider. 12-6 curveball and a two-seamer. Um, I mean, the hits per nine and case per nine definitely look nice. He has 94 stamina, so he's going to be able to get maybe six, seven solid innings as far as stamina goes. The pitch selection is not terrible. He does have a circle change, a slider, so he has a horizontal pitch as well as a vertical pitch. So honestly, it's going to be one of those that you're going to have to try him out and see how he performs. Some cards just play good even if the stats are not the best. So this might be one of those, but it could be a very glitchy card. I haven't really used his life series, so I don't really know how to grade this card. But based on stats alone, it looks pretty solid. All right, the second one is going to be Jeff McNeil. And I absolutely love using Jeff McNeil's life series card. I use him in BR a lot. And I'm actually using him for a league that I'm playing in. And I'm playing on Legend difficulty, and he is probably my best hitter. So just by looking at this card, I know that he is going to be so glitchy this is probably one of the glitchiest card in the game at least for me and he absolutely rates so he has really good contact at 104 versus righties and 96 versus lefties so even against lefties he has the nice contact power at 72 versus righties and 52 versus lefties the vision is at 90 which is very nice Fielding, it's okay. 74, 64 arm strength. Another great thing about this card is that although he has second base as a primary, he can play first, third, left, and right field. So it's not like you're obligated to play him at second or even in the infield for that matter. You can play him anywhere and he should be pretty decent considering how his fielding and the arm strength is not the best, but he should still manage if you put him in the outfield. Definitely making a case here for, for, for getting picked. The last one is going to be Ian Happ. And man, I, I gotta say, I, I'm leaning towards this Ian Happ and I'm going to tell you guys why. The contact is nice, 84 and 72. 101 power versus righties and 78 power versus left he has 74 fielding and 66 arm strength so it's pretty close to what McNeil has however he is a switch hitter and he can also play second base third base left and right field center field as a primary so if i had to make a choice here i would probably go with ian happ he has a very glitchy swing as well i want to say I want to say I'm going to pick Ian Happ. As of right now, I'm probably going to pick Ian Happ. All right, so the next thing that came out today is this Keith Hernandez player program for the third inning. And I'm excited because I need some more stars in order to get my boss, which I still haven't got it. So if you go to the player programs, here we have it. We have Keith Hernandez, 88 overall, when he was with the Cardinals. And I mean, what else can you expect out of this card except really high contact? 111 versus righties, 101 versus lefties. Power is going to be pretty low at 45 and 52. 89 vision, that's pretty good. And 93 fielding at first base. He is not going to let anything get past him. He has 80 arm strength, which is such a waste because you can't really play him anywhere else. He doesn't have any secondaries. But that's Keith Hernandez right there. Player program for the third inning program. Like always... The way to get this card is going to be through missions. Here are some of the missions. And then you can always do the moments, which is definitely what I recommend you guys do. Do all the moments and then go to missions and probably do the exchange and play the Cardinals on all-star difficulty or higher. And that's how you're going to be able to get to all 50 points and get this Keith Hernandez, which should give you also some program stars for the third inning program, which let's let's check really fast. All right. So we're actually going to be getting a lot of new stars for these player programs. You get 20 stars for collecting breakout Keith Hernandez 
and you're going to get another 20 for collecting Blake Snell once you finish that program. So those two players alone are going to give you 40 stars towards your third inning program. So if you guys are missing, I don't know, a couple stars to get your boss, this is going to be definitely a great way to get that done. All right, guys. So another thing that came out today is a new Mother's Day Conquest map. Now, as you guys might know, every single year they do a different Conquest map for like Mother's Day, Father's Day and a lot of other random holidays that come out throughout the year they do like halloween i think and things like that but this is going to be the mother's day conquest map and we're going to take a look at it here you have it if you click square you're going to get some of the missions that you need to get done and some of the rewards but yeah this is going to be the conquest map and like always remember there's going to be hidden rewards throughout the map i haven't started it but once we do uh i'm sure we're going to run into some free packs maybe a free headliner pack or something like that it's usually maybe like a bowling as a habit pack. I don't know guys, but it's gonna be free packs free stubs along the way So definitely do this conquest map for XP and some stubs and packs But one more thing before I forget if you do complete that conquest map You're going to get another 15 program stars towards the third inning. So another 15 stars man That's 55 stars so far that they've put out today alone for the third inning. So Definitely jump on that conquest map. It's not going to take you more than like an hour and a half and it's going to be worth it. And today they released a new headliners pack with Spencer Howard as the main card that you can get. And he is going to be a 96 overall future stars card for the Philadelphia Phillies. He is a starting pitcher. He has 92 stamina, 99 hits per nine. 105 Ks per nine. So that's actually pretty similar to what Blake Snell has. He does have 82 walks per nine, 71 home runs per nine, 86 velo with 95 break. He has a fastball, changeup, slider, curveball, cutter. So I actually really like his pitch selection. Not bad, except I'm definitely not gonna pull him because I'm not gonna be buying any headliner packs because we're trying to finish collections. So yeah. We're definitely not gonna go for that all right guys that is gonna be it for this video hope you guys found this info useful but before we end it like i mentioned in the previous video we're going to buy a single pack that's how we're going to be ending every single video from now on so let's see if we get lucky and we pull a diamond here we go yes i would like to open my single pack okay that's let me see let me see okay we didn't get a we didn't get a diamond but we did get a marlin so you know what i will take it but guys that's gonna be it man if you guys enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button if you didn't i don't know what to tell you you should probably still hit it but guys i appreciate you i'll catch you guys next time peace